today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. And right now, we are about to go down into this whole recap situation because you know that I have to recap a show, even if it's really bad as this one is being right now. Like, it really pains me to watch this show. And you know what? I'm usually not one to start with negativity. But, like, girl, we are all on the same agreement here. Like, we have been fans of Summer House for a very long time. And this season is just painful. You know, you know how I'm feeling? I'm feeling kind of like about the same as the last season of New York, of The Real Housewife of New York, before it got canceled. It's kind of like, ugh, you know, like, really, really, you know, like, it is just too much. But I still, I think I want to do the recap because um, I want to know what you guys are thinking. Sometimes I'm thinking, is it just me? Am I the villain here? Am I the drama? You know, like what is going on? But anyways, so um, let's 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 talk about this um, mess. We start, you know, this whole thing with basically what everyone is doing, you know, during the week, but in a different way. Remember that before they literally would just show like a second of what like people were doing, like Monday, Tuesday, ping, 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 you know. Because let's be honest, we don't give a shit what these people are doing during the week. I don't care. I'm not here to watch the stories of this whole group. I'm here to watch them get shit face on the Hamptons. Okay? And they really want us to change from an amazing party show to like now follow their stories. I don't care about following their stories. I don't care about... Paige and Craig, I don't care about, like, Amanda and Kyle and their house, like, no, you know, I just want to get little, little glimpses, like, on the weekends, and that's it, but they're, like, doing, like, this whole thing, Paige is talking to Craig about long distance, and, like, if it works, and, like, blah, 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 and, like, they're talking about, like, giving her, like, close at space, I'm, like, Oh, girl, pages need to move to Charleston. Just let go, you know, at this point. This is so boring. Now, the only thing that I have to say is that definitely Craig Conover, like, he uh, meet his match on this show because the fact that he is begging her for closet space, Craig, seriously, like, wow. So... You know, just, like, make it happen. Someone needs to move now. Um, now, the next part is, you know, the whole dinner between Amanda and Lindsay. I have to tell you guys, I don't know why they're pushing this so much. Like, we all know that those two will never be friends. Period. It's just not going to happen. First of all, the, their personalities are too different. Okay, I think that Lindsay needs someone that is more like fun and energetic than Amanda, you know, and also Amanda is so fake with Lindsay, like all the time. The only thing that Amanda knows how to do is talk shit about uh, behind Lindsay's back. That's like her thing, you know, uh, Amanda saying, I don't mean the thing I say. 
and then literally going on, you know, like all this mean girl behavior. Like Amanda lives for the mean girl behavior, that mean girl mentality, you know, of like, oh, let's go with my girls, you know, and talk shit about other people. That's who Amanda is, you know, like literally we have the fact that Amanda says to Lindsay, to Lindsay's face, oh yeah, you know, let's be fine. We're, you know, let's make this happen. Let's be friends. And then on the confessional, she's like, mm, yeah, I'm just so tired of the awkwardness. I'm just like, say whatever, you know, it's like, oh my God, fake, fake, fake. You know, like, I, like you don't have to be friends with Lindsay, but at least be real. At least it will make the show better, you know? Like, just tell her, you know what, bitch? I will never be your friend. I don't care about being your friend. I don't want to talk to you, okay? We will have to watch each other because our, our husbands are, you know, friends. But that's it. We do not need to be friends. Okay, okay, period, dot. You know, stop with the fakeness. Stop with the fakeness. Now, everyone is going down the house and... <laughs> the first part is like, you know, Danielle and Robert and coming down the house and Robert is all excited, you know, and Danielle is like, yeah, he's super excited. He wants to party, drink, have fun, have a good time. I'm thinking, oh boy, this guy is in for a very big surprise because these people are boring, okay? Like whatever you leave before on the other seasons, you are not getting the same this season, okay? Um... <laughs> then they they arrive oh God, i don't know if you caught this but like did you all watch like the gift that kyle got amanda the random like painting and it was like thrown on the floor on a corner i'm like yep yeah, i don't think i don't think amanda really liked that um and then you know they're starting to get you know uh, they they do the whole dinner with the questions you know and like oh let's talk about uh, uh, couples and I think I think all of that is kind of like a plan from production to put to you know put seeds on people's minds of like oh let's care about you know what these people are doing on relationships and it's like uh, we really don't baby boo okay we really don't at this point I'm going to be very honest with you I think moving forward we just need to take Gavi Sam and Chris and reboot the show and recast around them and bring, you know, as guests here and there, Kyle without Amanda and Lindsay without Carl. I think that will be a great show again, okay? Um, what else do we have? No, you know, now the, they're taking them to a club. Okay, I know. They, yeah, they're getting ready. And again, Amanda is constantly cutting Kyle's wings, you know? That comment of like, Ugh, you don't need to be the creepy old man at the club. What the fuck do you mean, okay? She's acting like Kyle is 80 years old, you know? And that annoys the fuck out of me. Let him do whatever the fuck he wants to do, Okay. That marriage is not going to last. Okay, this is, uh, Amanda and Kyle are the same vibes as Katie and, and Schwartz, you know, because Amanda wants, um, wants some kind of man and, and change Kyle, and that never works out. That never works out. Um, then they go to a club, you know, and watching them partying in a club is not the same as, as the parties in the house, you know, it just, it really doesn't hit the same way, and it, they, they, now they are, they are showing us full scenes of them in the city during, during the week, and just a little clip of them partying at the bar, why, why, bravo, we, can we fire all these production people that did this season, because girl, um, and then they finally return, you know, they're finally having some, some fun, I mean, literally, look at that scene right there. Who is having fun? Sam, Gavi, Chris, Kyle. They are having the time of their lives. Well, and Robert, you know. And all the rest of the people, mm, time to sleep. Bitch, it's the summer. You're in the Hamptons. Why are you fucking sleeping? Anyways, uh, and then Danielle is so like, like, oh, let's go to bed, let's go to bed. Bitch, you were the first one saying that your boyfriend is here trying to have fun. Let him do whatever the fuck he wants to do. You should be joining the fun. Why are you going up there sleeping? I can't. 
I, I honestly like this season i'm so done with everyone um now moving forward there also like there is this conversation of um gavi with danielle and how she's not clicking with sierra and all of that honestly what i'm thinking is happening is that all the the old girls are very jealous and threatened by the new girls you know because they are the ones with the vibe and the fun I, there is something that really annoys me, and I don't know. I, I think this is a very like an American thing, and you can literally see it on Paige, Ciara, and and Amanda, you know, and even Danielle a little bit. And is is that thinking of like, oh my god, I'm thirty, my life is over, I need to drink wine and go to bed at seven. That's a very American thing, you know. Like, girl, I'm half Colombian, half German. That doesn't happen over there, okay? Like, we literally are having fun till we are, like, 80. You know, we go out in Colombia. People go out all the time, drinking all the time, having fun. Germans, they they are crazy during the weekend. They don't care about the age. They also party a lot, you know? But here in America, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, my life, it's over. You literally saw Paige almost crying because she's about to turn 30. And she's like, I don't want to grow up bitch like you don't have to like do what society well american society is telling you to do like live your life do whatever you want to do it's so annoying um so i'm thinking that yeah you know we have this new energy of sam and gabby and chris and they are there to have fun to enjoy and everyone is is very threatened because you know and now they they really try to push the show of like what if we stop partying and we just talk about ourselves Go and create another reality show, okay? Th this is not it. Um, now, then the next day, they're doing the girls' night versus boys' night kind of thing, which the girls' night is, like, <laughs> so random. I, mean, I, I just, like, can't, you know? <laughs> and then the whole initiation of Chris, um, I don't know. Like, it is what it is, you know? Uh, then they're talking, okay, on the girl girls night, you know, which they are basically just like having dinner, which I bet you it's kind of like an early dinner. It is probably like 6 p.m., you know, and then they're also coming, uh, you know, for Lindsay again and, the, you know, why you have to always be doing things together and blah, 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 which I do agree, you know, I, in that part, I do agree with them because Lindsay, the, the thing is like Lindsay has a problem and is like she loves to take the personality of whoever she's dating. It's not the first time when we see it. We have say, see it, saw it before in every single one of her relationships from the beginning. And she needs to stop that. She needs to learn to be her own person. If your boyfriend, husband, whatever is not drinking, good for him. No one is telling him to drink. But if you want to drink, you do whatever the fuck you want to do, you know? So uh, if you want to go out to party, if you want to have friends, if you want to, like, whatever, do it, you know? <sighs> so, yeah, she needs to learn to be her own person. So um, that's pretty much it. You know how usually my recaps are, like, 30 minutes long? The fact that this is only 12 should tell you enough about how this show is going so let me know what you think on uh, the comments below i'm very eager to hear to read all of your comments and if you want to get all the tea related to summer house or any of the other bravo shows make sure to subscribe 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 hit the notification bell and i'll see you around see ya bye